singing in tongues my take on praise channel tv after this time of prayer king of kings and lord of lords i give you praise i give you glory for this wonderful time you've given us to share again on this platform jehovah i make myself available in your hands holy spirit please charge me with your power your unction your grace and your presence so that i'll be able to lift up jesus even now the souls of men and women in their multitudes across the world will be drawn unto you all to the glory of the lord jesus our lord my savior my king and my all i have prayed with heart of thanksgiving in jesus mighty name amen and amen i'm so excited to welcome you one more time to praise channel tv <laughs> Woo! lord we give you all the glory I appreciate you for coming to join us today. My name is Evangelist Chuck Street, aka Praise Channel, this kind of God, your host by the grace of God. So welcome back to our package today. Uh, before I jump into what we have today, I want to uh, appeal to you that please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, help purpose to hit the rest subscribe button there, then hit the notification, notification bell so that whenever we have a new content, you'll be among the first to receive same and like this content, drop some comments and help us to share this uh, package with your friends. You never can tell who this will bless and who this will help. God bless you. For our regular visitors, I celebrate you and I say welcome, God bless you. For our first time, as I said the same thing, welcome and God bless you. To God be all the glory. Without any more delay or any more delay, let's hit the road right now and deal with what we are here for today. The topic today says singing in tongues or maybe somebody says singing while you're singing you break into speaking in tongues or while you're speaking in tongues you break into singing particularly for music ministers and those that they, those that share on platforms and do recordings in the studio musical recordings as the case may be singing in tongues or you could say speaking in tongues while ministering in songs whatever you would like to put together as the main topic but just summarize it with these few words, singing in tongues. Okay, this is a very, very important topic in our generation. It's generating so much heat across the world, and I have been stirred in my spirit today. But for two days or two, three days, it's been on my mind to make my own, uh, uh, drop my own take on this very important topic and issue. So we are going to read from some scriptures, a couple of scriptures. This is part one of singing in tongues, my take. Um, we will go to part two. There may be part three, but I'm sure of one and two. First scripture, First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 4. A person who speaks in tongues is strengthened, strengthened personally in the Lord. But one who speaks a word of prophecy strengthens the entire church. But my emphasis on that first scripture is the first part of it that says, A person who speaks in tongues is strengthened personally. In the Lord, another translation said, edifies himself. Okay, Jude chapter 1 verse 20, only one chapter. Jude one twenty. the first one was 1 Corinthians 4.14. Now Jude one twenty. here the Bible says, But ye, beloved, building yourselves up on your most holy faith, bringing yourself up on the most holy faith, praying in tongues. You build yourself up as a believer in your most holy faith when you pray in tongues. That's what that scripture is telling us. And it's a very, very, very powerful scripture that I love so much. I use it often and um, I, I don't have any apologies for it because it's really helping me. Building yourself on your most, building, your, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in tongues. All right. We're making progress by the grace of God. Just come with me. Okay. With an open heart, please. Yeah. So the next scripture is... Romans chapter 8, verse 26. Romans 8, 26 and 27. In the same way, the Spirit helps us, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings. In NIV here, it says, groans that words cannot express. Verse 27 of Romans 8. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the spirit because the spirit intercedes for the saints in accordance with god's will 
This is serious. This is serious. Two more scriptures. Just bear with me. Ephesians chapter 4, Ephesians 4.30. And do not bring sorrow to God's Holy Spirit by the way you live. Remember, he is the one who has identified you as his own, guaranteeing that you will be saved on the day of redemption. Some translations say, do not grieve the Holy Spirit. Finally, Matthew 12, 31. Every sin or blasphemy can be forgiven, except blasphemy, blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, which can never be forgiven. Every blasphemy can be forgiven, except the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Brethren, the reason why it is very important for, important for us to consider this topic, number one, is for us to know what is actually, I believe, the mind of God concerning this matter. I believe I'm speaking the mind of God. And I'm begging us to please align with God's mind, align with God's will. Many people are judging those who stand on the altar to, to uh, sing, and then maybe be, before or after or within the singing, they break into something like this, just something like this. Somebody wave your hands and worship the Lord. Welcome the Holy Spirit here. And this can still good to continue. Oshi mama na ni anga bolo si ara baba ya na ni ana di dere bobo si tri papelen da ya gada ipatu re gedi ya kansate raba de de muna ya kusebere na ndo kosi pa ya de mazi bere gedo ya kasata ba ya jali moto si anka ba alibro koso tri ya kasata ya nama many people take offense when something like this happens on the altar I'm sorry but apart from myself do you know why I'm just very open with us here. I've been speaking in tongues by God's grace since 1986, two years after I gave my life to Christ, and I've not stopped. But I was not speaking in tongues in my recordings until some years ago. I think I was liberated because when I got born again in the wonderful uh, assembly that I worked, I got born again in the church. We were not allowed to speak in tongues openly. So it, was, it took me a long time for me to get liberated. Now, when I'm recording in the studio now, when I, I, I'm stirred in my spirit to speak in tongues, why not? Tabakashola! Rabade! Shitahayaba! One, a child, a child of God should not, be, should not be ashamed to speak in tongues. Speaking in tongues, by the way, is one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And it's given to you to use. Nobody should cajole you, kind of intimidate you or literally molest you because you are using a gift God gave you. And the gift is for every believer. So um, one of the reasons why I, I don't judge anybody, I can't judge anybody that prays in tongues or speaks in tongues while singing is because... I don't want to grieve the Holy Spirit. Even taking from that last scripture I read, Matthew 12, 31. Every sin or blasphemy can be forgiven except blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, which can never, can never, can never, I'm saying it three times, be forgiven. And what is the blas blasphemy? The sin of blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit is doing something, you said it's not the, the one doing it. When the Holy Spirit is making a move, he says it's not the one. When the Holy Spirit tells somebody to pray in tongues, the person starts praying in tongues. You are judging the person, saying the person is going canal. Then you are saying it's not the Holy Spirit that led him. You are blaspheming. Guys, brethren, let's be very, very careful. Let's be very, very careful. Careful. It is not safe to judge somebody who prays in tongues. This is just part one. There could be up to part, uh, three parts. If you see somebody who prays in tongues, you don't believe in what the person is doing, let the person be. The highest that will happen, you want to stop the person, you are free. But if I was a church pastor that has a church, I wouldn't stop anybody I invited that is singing in tongues. If, if I give you 10 minutes to minister in songs, and you, you, you minister, you, you speak in tongues for seven minutes, I wouldn't stop you. Do you know why? I wouldn't know if God stirred you to speak in tongues then. I'm very careful. It's just part one. It's, it's kind of introduction. I'm coming with the next part by the grace of God. And if you have not given your life to Jesus, please pray and ask Jesus to come into your life. Accept me as your personal Lord and Savior. Tell him, Lord Jesus, reign in my life. I give my life to you. I reject you, Satan. I'm no longer yours. I'm for Jesus, for real and for life. I accept you, Lord, as my personal Lord and Savior. Yes, Jesus. Lord, may you release your ble the blessings you promised those who have given their lives to you into the life of this one. Salvation, breakthrough, miracle, signs and wonders, all of them. Bless this one and keep this one to the end. Rakopa Shadarabadiya Kasata. See you at the next.
Edition Part 2.